So as you all know, Caleb is a little crazy, and so Kendra came up with a solution to deal with him. Turn around. There it is. <laughs> we have a little straight jacket for him. Go here, Cubby. Oh. Go here, Cubby. He was cold. So I put my sweatshirt on him, and when I was little, my dad used to play the escape artist game, and he would take his big jacket, and he would tie him like this, and we would escape from them. So I asked him if he could escape. Okay, try to get out. Can you escape? He's gonna pull it through. He escaped! Yay! Oh, this bitch came down. <laughs> Laura really wants to play too. Uh -oh. Okay, get out. Can you get out of it? Are you stuck? Yay! What about you guys? Did you play any crazy games when you were kids? I like to get wrapped up again. You want to get wrapped up again? Did you yeah. like that? Yeah. So last night we had a really powerful lesson together as a family that we didn't vlog and so I wanted to tell you guys about it. But anyway, the lesson was on change and our ability and our power to change our own lives. So I started the lesson with an object lesson for the kids. I looked at the light and the light in the room was off. And I was like, oh, I just wish the light was on. And I just sat here on the couch like, oh, it just, it just drives me crazy how dark this room is without that light on. And, and then I stood up and I like yelled at the light and like, come on, light, turn on. It was so funny because the kids are watching me a little bit confused at that point and then Laura goes over and climbs up and turns on the light switch and I'm like, oh, how did she do that? The kids talked about how she turned on the light switch. So we talked about how sometimes in life we want things to change. Like I was sitting here and I wanted the room to be brighter. I wanted that light to be on. But instead of doing something about it, I was just sitting there. I was whining and complaining and frustrated with it, but I wasn't turning that frustration into action. And so we talked about the things in our life that we are frustrated about, the things that are hard for us, the things that we don't like the way that they're going, and what we can do to change the situation. And we talked about, it's a saying, not original, that I've heard somewhere, you know, if you want things to change, then you need to change something. If you want life to be different than it currently is, then you need to do something different than you are currently doing. Caleb and Laura sound like they're having a good time playing together. <laughs> I'm videoing you. Awesome. It's already recorded. There's Gemma. Hi, B. Hi, baby. Hi. Can you say bye, Gemma? Bye, Gemma. Red shirt, blue shirt, yellow shirt. Ooh. <laughs> yellow pants, red pants, green pants. Ooh. All right, say good night. Good night, friends. Here. So for some reason, Caleb is talking about when mom and I die. It's going to be sad. You're going to be 18. I'll be 18 when I die. Yeah! <laughs> that will be so sad. Caleb, what did you say you wanted to take with you to heaven? My tools. So I would hold my tools while I would while die and then... And I, I would fall in heaven with my tools, and then I could build a house in heaven. He's going to be building mansions in heaven for us. Yeah. So I'm going to build three houses, and then six. I need to build six houses in heaven. Can you build some houses in heaven for the viewers? Yeah. Caleb is really wanting to build today. He got all of the blocks out and put tape on them. He's been playing with his tools, but he just is wanting to build something. What are you getting ready to do? Um, build a, a, a birdhouse. With who? Dad. All right, have fun building Dad. with Dad. Can you help me? Yeah, I can help you. All right, have fun building with Dad. So 
I just came out of my bedroom and I hear water running in the bathroom, which usually means one thing. What are you doing? Little miss. What are you doing? I lost my head. Okay, are your hands all washed? Can we get down now? No. So she just learned how to open doors and that's a game changer. Like we used to be telling the kids all the time, like don't forget to shut the door, like keep her out of the bathroom, keep her out of our bedroom. And now we can't keep her out of anywhere. And so I think we might have to go buy those little like door kid proofing things. So Lisi is building some awesome block towers and Laura keeps coming and knocking them down. What even is that? Lisa, you have such a good attitude. High five for best big sister. So the randomest thing happened on my drive home from picking up the kids from school. A song came on the radio and all of a sudden I was just like flooded with these memories of my grandma. And I was remembering being in her living room with her as a little girl and dancing with her to music that was on her record player that she had there. And they're just sweet, tender memories. My grandmother passed away five or six years ago and I still miss her and I just love her and admire her and I wish I could be a, a woman more like her and um, so I know I should be getting dinner ready and I should be you know maybe cleaning my house or something like that but instead I am going to do something that I've been meaning to do for years and that is make a snack that my grandmother made all the time. So I've got the recipe right here in my grandma's handwriting. So I've never actually made these. I've just seen grandma do it. So, yeah, it looks like like cookies, but they're different. Yeah, these are called Able Skeevers. Yeah, but they're at least that's how my family pronounced it. So if you've actually heard of Able Skeevers, let me know in the comments. Yeah. So when she served them, she would put um, she put them on a platter with powdered sugar over them, and then she would use this, and she put different kinds of jams in each one. So you'd cut them in half and put the jam in the inside. And I want to eat it. You want to eat it? I'm scared of the flipping guys, but I think it's about ready. I have to remind myself, Grandma did this for years. You know, it's it's not going to be... You got it prime. Exactly. Hey, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> well done. It's kind of working. Not kind of working, it's really working. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to make sure it's... They call them pooper scoopers. No, <laughs> <laughs> these are called able skeevers. Oh yeah, that one rolled right over. Well, Grandma, I'm getting the hang of it now. Grandma, I'm here for you to be very proud. If your grandma was here, maybe she would say, "Great job, Kendra." You are doing a very good job. Um, you know what I think my grandma would be doing if she was sitting here? She would be standing here with us laughing her head off and telling us funny, funny stories about the pranks she did as a kid on her little brother. Can you tell me? Caleb, are you excited to try my grandma's able skewers? So who wants to try one? Me! I want this. What do you think of able skewers? That is good. And you can put some butter in it. And then you can put some jelly in it. Really like really yummy jams. Really I just good. want jelly. And then you eat it and it like squishes open in your mouth. I want some um kale. Alright, we're ending the night off at the gym. Have a good night. J House out. <laughs>